So once you've set up the billing account, it's time to create a new project using the Create Project button. Enter the human-friendly name for your application. I'm just going to call it My First Map. Then you enter the project ID. This ID needs to be unique across all of Google's infrastructure, so you'll need to get specific here. As you can see, I've just called it Udacity First Map 1 because this isn't taken and it's available. Then you select the billing account that you're going to use. And if you remember when you're setting up the billing account, you gave a profile name, and I have a profile that I call my cloud project, and I'm just billing based off of that. Then you just click Create. As you can see, it will take a few moments creating, but when it's done, you'll be taken to the project dashboard. Now you can see I'm on the project dashboard. So the first thing that I want to do to enable maps is to go to APIs and Off, then select APIs, and here's a number of APIs that are available to me, but we can see there are Google Maps APIs here. So I'm going to go to the Google Maps Android API, and I'm going to enable it. Now that it's enabled, the final step is to set up the credentials. Over here, I can click on the credentials link, and then under public API access, I'll create a new key. When it asks what type of key, I'm going to select Android key because I'm building an Android app. It will give me a dialog asking me for the SHA1 that I got earlier, followed by the name of my app. Because I'm not deploying this app or doing anything with it that would require the certificates to check, the restrictions are much looser. And one of these is that the name doesn't really matter, but I am going to use the fully qualified name of my app. The SHA fingerprint is what we got in Terminal earlier on. Let's take a look at that. Here you can see my SHA1 key. So I'm just going to copy all of that. And then I'm going to put a semicolon and after the semicolon, I'm going to put the name of my app. In this case, it's com.google.devplat.elmaroni.firstmap. Don't worry if you need to change the name. You can do this later with the Edit Allowed Android Applications button. But I'll just create for now. And we can see that my key is listed here. And if I wanted to change my name, I just say Edit Allowed Android Applications. And I can go ahead and change the name. The API key is listed at the top. Make a copy of that or keep the console open because you'll be needing that in the next step.